Every time. Kate's giving is a thing Kate just made up. Hashtag. And hello. I'm Kate Welsh Oper. Thank you for coming back for another Kate's giving video. Uh, Thanksgiving is almost here. It's coming up on Thursday. I feel like I've been seeing a lot on social media this year about people being concerned that Thanksgiving is the forgotten holiday between Halloween and Christmas. I think the basis of this is just people can decorate for Halloween and they can decorate for Christmas, but then Thanksgiving, people just let the pumpkins sit around or they just think the turkey is enough. The turkey is enough. That sounds like a weird Food Network, Lifetime, Hallmark movie mashup. I went on Amazon and found a few decorative Thanksgiving items and I also read the reviews that came along with them and I'm gonna share those with you now. You run out of ideas. <laughs> This is the 16 inch lighted Pilgrim Owl Thanksgiving window silhouette decoration. Cute! You could hardly tell what the heck this thing in my window is. I am highly disappointed and upset. You know, the interesting thing about this is that she could tell what the heck it was in the first place. We have a five star review that says, cute, perfect addition to our decorations, but a little weird to have an owl as a pilgrim. I can't disagree with that review, but at the same time, well, I mean, let's just review. You bought something called the 16 inch lighted pilgrim owl. If you have a problem with an owl dressed as a pilgrim, that's on you. The next product is the Forum Novelties Men's Novelty Turkey Hat. The product description on this is, if a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, and weirdly bush is capitalized. <laughs> so if a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, how many is a turkey on your head worth? Five stars. 120 customer reviews for this particular product. This one is my favorite. Two stars. Trust the negative reviews. This person wrote seven paragraphs. <laughs> my dad selected this hat to wear in our upcoming turkey trot. And I could tell from all the bad reviews that would probably need some sort of modification in order to fit. I'm gonna stop this person right here. From all of the bad reviews, you could tell it was gonna need some modification to fit. Rather than moving on to something that might have been reviewed slightly better. That was my first criticism, but it, it goes on. But I went ahead and bought it because it was my dad's favorite of the options I gave him. All right, so she'd already given several options to her dad and her dad's like, this is the one I want. The head arrived the other day and as I suspected, it barely fits. Unless the guy in the photo is deformed, has no forehead whatsoever, and has a head that only goes one inch above his eyebrows, this is not the same hat. Let's, let's just take a look at the guy in the photo. And now we are left to wonder, what is the situation with this man? And look at his face. I mean, to be fair, that is sort of a, it's sort of a knowing smile, isn't it? Also, the hat I received has red legs and feet, not yellow legs with black shoes as in the photo. So essentially what this reviewer is telling us is that this poorly reviewed product has arrived to her and it's a disappointment. All right, so she says, having no time to return the hat, I have found a solution for modification. All is not lost. I happen to see some people wearing this hat in a turkey trot video, each of them have modified it, each of them have, I'm gonna review this, it should be has, each of them have modified it differently. I'm attaching a screenshot from the video. Wait, where is that? Wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> I'm concerned that maybe these people are being held against their will for some reason. And look at this shady character in the background. You can see they are each wearing this hat. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I can't, I can't. With the red feet, which is exactly what I was sent. The guy in the screenshot has tied a shoelace onto each of the turkey ankles and then tied it under his chin to strap it to his head. Unfortunately, it is already very out of character for my dad to be wearing a turkey hat, so I'm not sure he'd be willing to also have a bow tied under his chin as well. This speaks to me. I feel like if you're going to go there with wearing a turkey hat. Why is the shoelace going to be the deal breaker? The woman in the video, however, has somehow affixed this turkey hat to a baseball cap. Oh, I tested this method out 
and it works great. It feels snug and you don't constantly feel like your hat's gonna fall off. I will use safety pins or fabric glue to attach this turkey to a baseball. Who cares? My dad won't mind that since he wears baseball caps all the time. Brilliant, brilliant problem solved. But in case you are not yet stuck with this turkey hat, I would definitely advise you to keep looking. Perfect. <laughs> Moving on to our next items. It is the accoutrement inflatable turkey. <laughs> Number one, you're buying an inflatable turkey. The inflatable turkey looks so delicious you can almost smell the stuffing. Perfect for staging your Thanksgiving table while the real turkey is roasting or batting around. <laughs> or batting around on a sunny day at the beach. 110 customer reviews for this. Most are five stars. <laughs> I was impressed with the reviews for this turkey, so I bought one for the sheer fun of having a blow up turkey. <laughs> After unfolding it, I inflated it by mouth. Somewhere I'm just imagining a person <laughs> getting out of breath, blowing into an inflatable turkey. Once inflated, I thought, hmm. It actually, <laughs> I thought, <laughs> Hmm. Update, all caps. <laughs> Never abused or played with. Now I'm uncomfortable. This person just simply says, atrocious. Don't listen to the others. This looks nothing like a real turkey. Perhaps if I were high, it would. <laughs> Do, period, not, period, buy, period, this. What are people expecting? When I tried to carve this turkey, it blew up. <laughs> I give it three stars. It's okay. It's the only thing out there, so there's really nothing to compare it to. Surprisingly, there isn't a lot of competition in the inflatable turkey market. Its uniqueness more than its quality gives it value. I'm gonna save that. That might end up on my tombstone. Started to leak air several days after I inflated it. Three stars. How many days do you need an inflatable turkey in your home? What? Oh my god. <laughs> I heard the unmistakable whisper quiet sound of air leaking out. I decided to take it to my neighbor who is immensely handy. He had a needle tipped polymer caulk product that he eased into the leg seams, but it seeped along the seam and it was useless. <laughs> what am I reading? I gave up on the first one and tried the second. Marsha has bought two inflatable turkeys. The first, gone. The second, gone. Didn't pay very much for her. Satisfied enough. Her? I'm getting more concerned. Satisfied enough? Oh, Jameson. My nine-year-old son was so excited to receive this as a Christmas gift. <laughs> no! If you're giving your nine-year-old son an inflatable turkey for Christmas, how does one review that? I award zero stars to both your parenting and gift-giving style. <laughs> Not look anything like a turkey, and it smelled. Terrible. Oh! Okay, inflatable turkeys, that is going to do it. Regrettably, there is no um, star system, but you can give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Kate's Giving videos. Guys, there's only one Kate's Giving video left before Thanksgiving. Speaking of things that are useless, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers. Kate's Giving is a thing Kate just made up. Hashtag.